to the Leaders of Leader podcast. I am Diana Daniels, host of the Leaders of Leader podcast brought to you by the YPO Leadership Development Network. I am CEO and father of Kronos Group, working in telecommunications, labor and financial inclusion. And I am super happy to receive today in this space to Patricia Pomes, a YPO from the European and the Euro Latam chapter as well as Madrid chapter. Pat, welcome. Oh, thank you very much. I mean, I'm so glad to be here and, and spend this minute together and trying to share uh, a kind of the story of, of what we, we have been doing the last couple of years and in terms of leadership and, and things that has to do with, with YPO and, and the experience being here also. Thank you, Pat. Well, for those that uh, know Pat, actually her friends call her Pato, as is in Argentina, the short name of Patricia. She is the current COO of Globan, a publicly traded company with more than 25,000 people working in 18 countries in the globe. Pat Palmis oversees the revenue of margin and uh, and the revenue and the margin of the company-wide operations, as well as the Globan's people area, which actually focuses on the employees' well-being, training, skill, and development. She was also one of the architects of a scaling global from a startup to multinational through the, third, the creation of the Agile Pods, which give a greater autonomy and resources to the company teams. We're going to talk about more about that in our podcast. And prior to Globen, Pat actually taught at four University. She was a general manager of EDUCAR, an initiative of the Argentine Ministry of Education, that enable digital education access throughout the country, regardless of any student's geographical or socioeconomic disadvantages. Pato has a great calling for inclusion as she continues her passion for women in business and inclusive education by participating in the Women Corporate Directors, WCD organization, as well as advising the Council of Gener Generación Única of the UNICEF Digital Education Project in Argentina. Bueno, Pato, we have a lot of things to talk <laughs> to you. You know, listen, I truly love the story of Globan. You guys were a startup, you know, like uh, 20 years ago. And during the first five years, you reach up to 5,000 employees converted into the, one of the biggest multinational companies that is not just any company. You guys had to scale up to be now a global company with 25,000 employees. How, how do you guys achieve this while still maintaining that startup mindset? Yes, well, it's a it's an, it's a complex question. I mean, because it has to do with many many things. But uh, first of all, it has to do um, when you have a strong DNA in your company, and and we born as a digital native company. So uh, that is 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 really a lot these days. That means that you have a mindset really flexible, and and that you are all the time looking for new waves of organizations and trying to reach the power of the people, and and you understand the value of the people as not only as, as, as your employee, it's, it's part of the family, it's part of the heart of, of what you are achieving on an everyday basis. So one of the things that Globan has is, is that it really believes in, in the people that are working in the organization. And I am, of course, as you mentioned before, I am the COO, so I am this kind of mix of roles because it's not the normal one because I have, of course, all, all the numbers, the revenue, the margins, all the operational things that every, that all the CEOs in the world has, but I also have the people organization under my, under my responsibility. And that is because we designed that because what we believe is that we need the business to be very, very close with the, with the people, uh, the people that is, uh, that is working on everyday basis. So we need the people that is doing business that is, uh, closing deals, achieving new ways of, of going to the client. Our, our, our goal to client, our strategy has to do with that, with, with trying to bring value to the table. And our value is, is our people, is our creative minds, is, is having the people really set for success. And for that, we have, of course, we have launched a university in, internal in Globan that is called Globan University. And that today the more than 19,000 Globers, that is the name that we put to the people that works in Globe and Globers, um, are doing some courses or trying to upskill or reskill themselves in terms of changing the, the, um, the, the technology. For, for example, I have been I have been a designer for the last couple of years and now I want to be a project manager. Well, we help you in terms of changing that career path. So the idea in, in the mindset of Globan is when you join the company, it's not the last point of your career. It's a starting point because we want to grow with you. 
because we want to grow and that is on the, on our mindset we are growing all the time that is the last year we we announced on the public that we we have been uh, I mean, we bore more than 45% year over year growth. And that is for a public company in our sector was an, like, like an amazing achievement. And everybody was looking for what, what you have done different from the other. And the difference is that we never forget about the people that was in the company. We, we didn't fire any, anybody in the middle of the pandemic. We keep right. all the talent and we work together with the talent and with the families because each of the Globers that work in Globers, it's not only the Globers for us, it's all the, all the family, all the context that they live. So we are all the time bringing them, for example, mindfulness sessions. We have a very strong program that is called Be Kind to Yourself that has to do with giving space to you for, for, for giving you trainings, for understanding, for, for going for a walk, for trying to understand, have mind, mindfulness session, have yoga session. I mean, we are helping with many, many tools all the, all the time our employees, not only in terms of the framework where they need to deliver with the quality of the project that's, that is how we live, right? We, we are delivering and, and reinventing the industries in, in terms of the digital space. But the thing is, okay, that people need to be on the very best moment of their lives. And that is also the experience that we want to be, uh, give to our people. So I think that is one of the main things that is different from, from other companies that is helping us to grow in so fast. And the people is, is looking to join Globe and also for those values, because al also we have a very strong value in the terms of be kind to the planet that has to do with the sustainability. I mean, it's not that we have an ESG strategy only, it's that we are really commit, we have a commitment with the planet. So we are carbon neutral. I mean, now we are using 100% renewable energies i mean we have put i mean we are re i mean trying to recover the ca the carbon footprint of each of the employees of globant and that is something that we are doing and and every year we set a goal and we try to achieve it so that is also something that all the new generations are looking for that they are looking for companies that are really i mean very very strong in terms of the values of diversity of of, of taking care of the planet of course of, of the culture of course of, of of giving you space of growth and and believing in you in and your autonomy right yeah i i see that you know i guess that we're living in in this world especially post pandemic that is clear there is a war of talent you know there are studies that they say that 40 percent of the people are planning to leave their current employer and what you guys have done is that you put a lot of effort in the front end employees by upskilling them risking it is just amazing what what do you believe pato that could be you know um key areas of the leaders that they need to focus when it comes to building this dynamic organizational culture because you guys grow a lot throughout positions and i guess that to having this dynamic system where you are acquiring companies that they come with one specific type of culture and then bring it into this amazing culture that you have how do you guys do that and what are you know key things that you will leave uh here in the podcast for the people that are listening to us or or watching us yes of course i mean i mean we i mean in fact we grow much more organically than inorganically that is something that i want to put clear because it's, it's also important is because sometimes it's, it's more difficult to grow organically than inorganically. Of, of course, I mean, uh, M and A is, is a big part of our of our company, but is that that is the existing building is, is is where we farm our clients. I mean, we are doing farming all the time there, and it's because we build a very strong partnership with our with our clients, and that is a very different point of view. I mean, every client that is looking for us is 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 they want a partnership they want they feel, they want to feel that we have the same uh, feelings in terms of of the of the of trying to reinvent the industries for example we have uh, many companies that has to do with travel and leisure so in the middle of the pandemic we find some ways to to keep helping them i mean 
we everybody knows that they were the most hurt uh, industry in terms of the of the pandemia so we help them we do a partnership we say okay let's keep the 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 movement because this is going to end sometime and it's going to explode and though that is what is happening right now so right now everybody's exploding so those companies that were reinventing themselves in the middle of the pandemic we were helping them so we partner with that we partner with some media and entertainment company that are looking for a different and point of view. So I think in terms of the leadership that we, you were asking, I think one of the very good, I mean, thing that I learned is, I mean, thinking the long-term strategy, I mean, is of course, there are going to be short-term things that you need to solve on everyday basis. But as a, very, as a, but as a great leader, you need to think in long-term, I mean, and that is something that is really important when you're going to to try to find where you want to achieve and what you want to achieve. We want to be the best company doing the software and the best company and the best partner reinventing industry. That is our long-term strategy. So, so we're going to do everything in the middle. Of course, we have different crises as all the companies, but that is a long-term and that is the part of the leadership. The other thing is all the time, challenge the status quo. I mean, that is something that we are I mean, encouraging all the people or our leaderships are saying, okay, if you don't like the things, the way they are been doing, I mean, let's change it. We can change everything. Oh. I mean, the process are not defined. They're not on the stone. I mean, we can change it and we have the ability to do that. So the autonomy is the, is the third thing. I mean, we really believe that people that this is really auton autonomous and they have the tools to be autonomous are better because I mean, they, they feel that they have the power of changing things, of reinventing themselves or helping other people, of, of course, of challenging you as a leader. So, and of course, I mean, having for me, one of the, for, for myself, for Pato is, is I, 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 I'm always believe in teams. I have the better team that I can have. I mean, I have people in my team that knows much more than me in everything. I mean, I have, people, be, right. <laughs> I have people that knows much more, I mean, for me that from in terms of the delivery and the quality of the delivery that we're doing, people that is better than me in terms of the people, analytics and, and HR and rewards, people that is better than me in, in many, many cases. And I love that because they challenge myself all the time. So I, I, get, I can get new point of views. I can get this diversity things and I can innovate because as I, I, I nurture myself with different point of view, I nurture myself and I can think differently and try to change and challenge the, the company and reorg uh, Globans uh, every, I think we are doing reorganizations, I think every 18 months or, or, or sometimes every year we are doing some kind of big reorganization inside the global. And that is because we are flexible and because we are thinking all the time in what's next, what next. So that is how we grow. I love that. And it's so important because if you maintain that specific point of view also, it's, you know, like the delegation, many, many great leaders, they need to learn how to delegate the stuff. So yeah, definitely. Listen, I love this part of the podcast because it gives us a glimpse of who you are as the, as a white viewer, but especially as, as a as a leader. Um, we're trying to look into this like beyond your leadership journey. So Pato, I'm going to ask you 10 questions. And I want you to tell me the very first thing that comes to your mind, you know? Okay. So ready? All right. <laughs> yes. Super. Okay. So morning or night? Night. <sighs> me too, me too, me too. I'm, I'm that kind. I got okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best compliment you've ever received? Mm, I think it has to do with my 360 point of view. Very good. And what is the most important thing you learned in your career? Uh, to be humble. Ah, super important. Let's mm -hmm. never forget that. Well, think back for a moment when you were six years old. What was your dream job? Um, when I was six years old, I was living in, in the Patagonia in the farm, in the middle of the farm with my oh. family <laughs> there. So I think that I, my only problem those days were if I have enough mud in my face and in my hands. <laughs> 
so I can be happy. So I, I don't think, I mean, I was yeah, six years old and I was in the middle of the farm. So I didn't expect this career. I mean, this was complete, a complete surprise for me. I mean, I started doing this because I was really, really curious and I want to learn on everyday basis. Beautiful. So if, if, if you, I know you're, a, I know you're a mom, but if a four year old describe what do you do for a living? What would he or she say? Um, my daughter says that mommy works a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, she does that. I know. Okay. <laughs> so if you have a billboard, you know, that will say anything on it, you know, whatever you want to say a message to the world, what it will be and why. <laughs> And be kind. be kind, be kind. Yes. I love it. Be kind. Yes. Oh, that's such a nice. Yes. It, it's part of, of, of something. It's a, it's a program that we design in Globe. And it's, it's, it's a be kind program. It's, it's be kind to yourself, be kind to your peers, be kind to the planet, be kind okay. to humanity. So that is part of, of things that I'm thinking all the time. I mean, and what is that thing that makes you wake up and then feels you inspired? Ah. Uh, wakes me up um well i have insomnia so i'm mostly <laughs> i mean the, the we need to that, fix that yes yes i need to fix that but that um, i mean the things that is probably is is i'm all the time trying to think how to make better teams i mean i'm all all the time thinking about people i mean i'm all the time thinking about okay i i just met these people and then I, with this team or this guy or or and i want to connect them because of this i mean i love make those kind of kind of connections and try to achieve something different so uh, one day i was looking in 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 tiktok a video of visa rap doing visa rap is, is is a musician in, in in very famous in argentina and in latin america it has like i don't know 12 12 million followers something like that And he was doing something amazing in terms of marketing. And he has, I think, 20 years old. And I was thinking, wow. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing something really, really great. So <laughs> I call him. I say, hey, you know, I want to learn from you. And he said, what? Yes, let's make this kind. So I mar uh, uh, we, we design a, a board of, of centennials Uh, with uh, many people that are um, in, um, this kind of influencers or are doing different kind of things in the world. So I can learn from them because I'm, fin I'm, I'm 42 years old, but I think that I need to learn a lot from people that has between 18 or 20 yeah, years Yeah, it's old. A, a, a reverse mentoring. I love this. I love this. So if, if you need to resume your life in a book, Pato, what will be the name of, of the book? In the title in one world, one world. In one world, they say it's going to be. I think it's um, uh, it's 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 a difficult one, right? They say the one world is probably oh, okay. Two words, okay, two words. I give you two words. Um, be brave. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. <laughs> All right. So, what for the last question is? You're 18 year old back again. You go back in time, and what can you tell to that 18 year old Pat Pato that is uh, in Argentina? What would you tell her? Oh well, I will tell her that um, I mean, probably to be more sure of herself because I was I mean when I was 18 years old, I, I didn't know if 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 I mean I study communication science in a public university in, in Buenos Aires, the Buenos Aires University. That is a huge and beautiful university, but it's a kind of a very, uh, it's, a, it's a changing scenario. So I was like thinking, I am doing the right thing. I don't know if, I, if, I, if this is what I want to do, but uh, now I'm sure that that was what I want to do. I want to have that career and with that tools, I want to design what I want to believe and, and I want to be. And I, I think that the, to that 18 years old, I would say, forget about the, the, the boy that is not liking you these days <laughs> <laughs> and, and focus on yourself and, and, and what you want to achieve and what you want to change in this world. And that has been always, always my, my thing. I mean, I mean, really commitment. I have a, a strong commitment with, with, with education. Uh, I really believe that people 
that has more tool, I mean, has more ability to, to change the world. And of course, I, I am a really believer that we can change the world from any, any position. I mean, as we are leaders of any organization, we can change something for better, of course. I love it. Well, Pat, that's just so amazing, truly inspired. And you are definitely a role model for many women starting their leadership careers. Thank you, Pato, for sharing with us and coming to Leaders a Leader podcast. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you. Take care. Thank you. And I want to invite the rest of you, please come to the next episode, Leaders of Leaders. My name is Diana Daniels, and I'll be happy to be with you one more time. Stay tuned and see you soon. Ciao.